Mark, it feels like the, the dust's barely settled on last season, but certainly plenty to look forward to in the new campaign. It looks like it's going to be a really competitive division up in the Championship. Absolutely. Um, looking forward to it already. Um, I don't think the players will be. They're looking forward to the, the summer holiday more than anything. Um, a long season, yet again. Uh, another successful season. A wee bit disappointed on the cup front, but uh, Championship, another Championship tucked away in the trophy cabinet behind me here so uh, uh, I think a lot to look forward to next season I think the uh, you know the uh, I think what Alistair was looking for is you know obviously the continuity um, of his team obviously coming back from where we've been um, and, and he's ticking those boxes at the moment I think it's important that uh, you know I think the, the fact that we have um, you know the a team to put on the pitch to, uh, uh, next season that will be competitive um, and I think everybody um, I think everybody that supports Rangers Football Club will want to give Alistair the best opportunity to put the best team on the pitch uh, for next season because it will be a competitive league, a lot tougher than, uh, than what we've had for the last couple of years. Um, and I think it's I think it's important that, that we invest in that. You know, I think investing in that through whatever season tickets, buying shares, um, is 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 the way to reward Alistair. I think the you know the quicker we can do that, then. Um, the quicker Alistair can get in amongst it and, and, and get the better players. Obviously, I think um, you know. The, I think the investment into the club is always vital and important. Um, um, investing in your football team, investing in players, um, it, it works hand in hand. And I think, you know, um, I think the quicker the investment comes for Alistair, then obviously the bigger scope he has got to go out and, 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 and get the better players. So hopefully that will all come through, and, and hopefully. Fingers crossed. Next season, we'll have another another uh, season to celebrate, should we say? I think we saw the benefit of that last season. He, the manager did manage to get his business done early, and yep. I think we saw the contrast between last season and, and the previous year yep. in terms of the, the consistency and the way the team started the division. Absolutely, I think it's uh, I think it's imperative uh, as a manager. Uh, and I've been in that situation before. Um, that you know you, you, you like to get all your work done at the start of the season. Um, it is um, an important time of the year, the most important time of the year. You know what we get in January is a, a slightly different scenario, but I think I think Alistair knows what he wants to keep at the football club, and you know we've seen players that'll you know be released and let go, uh, but he'll also want to replace those with a with a the higher standard and a higher quality. Is it important that it is a few players of, of real quality that are added? Because you look at the first season, it was about building a squad. Yes, Last yeah. year, it was really about putting some experience in there. And he's obviously had a, a group that have put together a, a tremendous run this season. So is it just about adding those those little bits of detail here and there? Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, um, it's 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 a it's a building that that needs to come gradually. And I think there is you know there's a, a nucleus of a, a really good set of boys here. That obviously needs to be added to, then added to again. It's not like we don't want, we want we don't want to get to the big time again, and then have to put in a massive investment to be competitive. I think the investment comes in in stages. Um, you know, this particular stage of the season is another time for investment, and, and the biggest the biggest I think the biggest I think the well the big the biggest um, investment that we can get at this time of the season is you know season tickets to you know to to put towards the building of the team. You know, Alistair can plan everything that needs to be built around the team. Um, and then hopefully that will come to fruition next season in another successful title challenge. And then up to the big time where we have probably another four or five players to add to the group that's already there. Um, that is the ideal scenario. Um, whether that comes to fruition, you know, hopefully Alistair will, will get that because it then becomes a lot easier to, to make that transformation from this level up to you know challenging for a, uh, a championship in the top end. Clearly, the players are, the, are the, the area where we can make the real difference. But in terms of the last couple of seasons, we've seen the benefit of a, of a really strong support. How important yes. is that going forward over the next couple of seasons? Rangers Football Club is all about the support. I think um, you know the the, the 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 fans that you know that I talk to. You know, the thick and thin. You know, they've been supporting the club since day one, since they came <laughs> onto the planet, basically. Um, uh, and I think that that will never that, that will never die. I think the you know the heart is there. It's in the heart, and, and they will just you know 
keep supporting the club. Um, I think that is that is the heart of any and soul of any football club is the is is the support. You know, I know clubs down in England that have had the same problem as Rangers, and you know, you get two three thousand people turn up every week, and you know, but we are not that ordinary football club, a footballing institution. Everybody calls it that, and. I see no reason why it shouldn't be, and it is, you know, because of the history of the football club, the support of the football club, you know, breaking records in lower tier football for, you know, 50,000 people, 48,000 people turning up for matches. And and I would like to think that, I don't think how that, it doesn't change. You know, you, you love your football club. I've been, you know, over in, over in uh, Northern Ireland uh, at the weekend there talking to supporters and um, at, uh, at functions and, you know, they're, they're pretty positive. Um, you know, we are Glasgow Rangers and uh, we will continue to support the club.